Hi trainers, it's been a while since my last item tier list video and now that I've reached masters as well as tested all the items, my opinion has completely changed. In today's video, I'll be ranking all the items in a tier list and give you my reasonings. It's important to note that tier lists are always based on opinion, so you may not agree with me and that's perfectly okay. My tier list is based on my grind to masters, my experience and my research. This is a general tier list, some Pokemon can utilize these items well even if they're low ranked. For the question of the day, what item do you find to be the best in Pokemon Unite? I'm Teets, I'm a Masters player in Pokemon Unite and have played MOBAs for over 9 years. My goal is to help you become the very best like no one ever was. I am actually working on a video right now as well where I've tested all the items, so I know how they actually work which I will share soon. If you'd like to see that, feel free to subscribe and click the bell. Okay, let's jump into it. The main important thing with the items in Pokemon Unite are their passives. I've tested the number of the stats like attack stats and stuff, and the flat numbers of the items don't make a huge change. So from my testing, I found that the passives for these items are more important than the flat numbers themselves. Okay, first, AOS Cookie. When you score a goal, your maximum health increases and this bonus will cap at 6 stacks. So there are better items that give you better health stats than AOS Cookie and because this item is a score based item, it can be a gamble when using it because you don't know if you're scoring that game or not. So I don't find AOS Cookie to be very reliable. Because of that, I'm going to place this in C tier. Next, Assault Vest. This item grants you shield against special attack damage while out of combat. It will take 8 seconds to give you the shield after leaving combat. This item is not bad, but there are better items that will do better than Assault Vest. However, if you didn't want to use the items that I suggested, then this is not a super bad choice for defenders. For Assault Vest, I'm going to place this in C tier. Next is Attack Weight. When you score a goal, you raise your attack stat for the rest of the match and this will cap at 6 stacks. Just like AOS Cookie, it relies on your scoring which comes to the same issue is that it really depends if you can or cannot score. I'm going to place this in C tier as well because it's just a risk and it's not consistent like other items. Next is Buddy Barrier. Buddy Barrier has been talked about a lot and it's very used in high ranked competitive play. This item grants a shield to you and a nearby ally Pokemon with the lowest health when you use your Unite move. This item to me, honestly, is so strong. It can pretty much save you and another teammate, keeping you both in the fight for longer, which is a huge advantage. This item is definitely S tier and I pretty much built this on almost everyone. A good tip for Buddy Barrier is even if you're not low health, but you see an ally who has low health in an important fight, you can use a Unite move just to keep them alive. I've done it plenty of times during Zapdos fights and it's really turned the fight around. The only con of this item I find is that apart from its health stat, the benefit will only affect you and your team when you use your Unite move. So it is a passive that is not up that often, but it's such a powerful passive that it's worth it. Next is Energy Amplifier. After using your Unite move, deal increased damage for a short time. This item is like Buddy Barrier, it will only affect you during your Unite move, it will give you a huge increase in damage and I find this item to pair really nicely on some Pokemon with Buddy Barrier. It can really give you a lot of damage to wipe out the team and Buddy Barrier can give you the survivability while doing it. For me, this item is in A tier. Next is XP Share. Increases the Pokemon's passive experience points gain while it has the fewest experience points on the team. In addition, when a nearby teammate defeats a wild Pokemon, that teammate gains slightly more experience points. XP Share is very situational, so I will just say now that it's going to be in situational tier. I find that XP Share works really well for those who are in full parties, but in parties of less than 5 and especially solo queue, I do not recommend XP Share. That's because you don't have control and you can't communicate to your other teammates that you need them to be higher level than you to gain the benefits, and you might also have a teammate who picks up this item as well, and you wouldn't know. If you are not the lowest level Pokemon, it makes the pass off this item pretty much useless, so it's a situational item for sure. Next, we have Floatstone. So there have been some tests emerging about Floatstone and the results aren't good. I actually have tested this item myself as well, which I will show and talk about in my item video. Floatstone was considered a very strong item before the testing was done. I also thought it was pretty strong, pretty much it was high on a lot of players' tier lists. Floatstone increases the movement speed while out of combat and it will take 8 seconds after leaving combat to have this movement speed effect. I also looked into the stats because it does give you 120 movement speed, but considering the base stats of Pokemon movement speeds average is more than 3,500, that is barely a noticeable difference. So for me, Floatstone is unfortunately in D tier. The reason is because what I learned through grinding to masters is that farming is so important. I'm always trying to find something to attack whether it's fighting Pokemon or taking down wild Pokemon, thus this passive is barely used. My Floatstone is at level 20 because I thought it was good, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Hopefully they will buff it in the future. Next is Focus Band. 
Focus Band is super strong and it will help you in those clutch situations. When dropping to low HP, recover HP loss each second for 3 seconds. You will get 3 decent sized heals and this can really keep you in the fights or be enough to help you escape. I find Focus Band to be core cool on many Pokemon as it is such a strong item. The reason why Focus Band and Buddy Barrier are in S tier to me is that these items will help you the most in those really important team fights like Zapdos and Dreadnought over other items. I'm placing Focus Band in S tier. Next is Leftovers. Recovers help over time while out of combat. At the moment, Pokemon Unite offers many different ways to heal with berries and the goal zone. You also get health back with taking down wild Pokemon. So there are a lot of ways to heal. Because Leftovers does not trigger when you're in combat, I find this item to not be so great. It's not there when you need it most and it also takes 8 seconds to trigger. So it doesn't even really help you get into the fight faster because you have to wait 8 seconds for it to actually heal you. Because of this, I am placing Leftovers in D tier. Next, Muscle Band. Deals additional damage with basic attacks based on the target's remaining HP. Muscle Band is a fantastic item and I find it to be very strong. Since every Pokemon's normal basic attack is physical, this item benefits all Pokemon. Basic attacks are probably what you use the most, so this item will help you take down your enemies as well as clear wild Pokemon faster. I have built this item on many of the Pokemon that I use. Muscle Band for me is S tier. Next, Rocky Helmet. After absorbing enough damage, deal percentage damage based on your max HP to nearby enemies. This item is pretty interesting because when it does proc, like when it happens and an enemy gets taken down from it, it's pretty entertaining and funny, but currently there are better items for those who want to build defense or support items. It's a very interesting passive, however I don't find this to be viable in high competitive, so I will be placing this in C tier. Next is Scope Lens. Increase the damage of basic attack critical hits. The higher attack, the more damage is increased. I find Scope Lens to be a great item, however it is not useful to many in Pokemon Unite. The one Pokemon who I find it to be core on is Absol, but you can still build this item on Pokemon like Cinderace or Crustle. Because of this, I will play Scope Lens in Situational. It's a good item, but it's just not utilized by many Pokemon. Next is Score Shield. Score Shield definitely is an item that has taken me by surprise. It shields you while you attempt to score a goal. Scoring cannot be interrupted while the shield remains active. When Pokemon Unite first came out, I didn't find this item to be great, but that has since changed. I tested this item in practice, and what I didn't know at the time is that it stacks up other shields, such as Eldegoss Shield, Lucario Shield, and more. Score Shield is a fantastic item, and I will place this in Situational, but it's an S tier Situational item. It really depends on the Pokemon you're using and your Pokemon team comp, but Pokemon really high health or with shields work really well with Score Shield. Pokemon from different classes can utilize this. It just really depends on which Pokemon. Next is Shell Bell. Recover HP when successfully landing a move. The higher your special attack, the more HP you receive. To me, this item is not bad, but it's not great either. And honestly, the only Pokemon I build Shell Bell on is Gengar. This is because Gengar's playstyle is more risky than other special based Pokemon. Gengar to me needs survivability. Shell Bell will recover health every time you land a move successfully, and this triggers every 10 seconds. I don't find this item bad at all, but it's just not core cool on many Pokemon at the moment because there are better items. However, I'm going to play Shell Bell in B tier because I'd rather build this item over some other items that are under this tier. Next is special attack specs. When you score a goal, your special attack is raised for the rest of the match. This will also cap at 6 stacks. Just like with the other score based items, you do run the risk of not being able to score, thus nullifying this item effects. I just find the other item passives to be better than the stacking ones. For this, I'm placing special attack specs in C tier as well. Lastly, Wise Glasses. Further increases special attack damage. This item has a flat value and a percentage value to increase your special attack. It's just an item that increases your damage for special attack based Pokemon. To me, this item is definitely the best item for those who want to increase their special attack damage to enemy Pokemon. I will be placing Wise Glasses in A tier. Okay, so I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions, please just ask and I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. But pretty much the best items you want to use is Body Barrier, Focus Band, and Muscle Band. Score Shield I would consider S tier as well, but it is also situational depending on the Pokemon build. But I find Body Barrier, Score Shield, Muscle Band, Focus Band, Energy Amplifier, and Wise Glasses to be the top choices at the moment. I do think they need to buff and maybe nerf some items to make them more balanced, but those are the items that I think are pretty much the most useful in Pokemon Unite. I will be releasing a video on all my item tests that I ran where I found how each item actually works, and that will hopefully give you more insight on each held item, and hopefully give you a better understanding on how they work as well. If you'd like to see that, feel free to subscribe and click the bell, like the video if you found this helpful. Thank you so 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 much for watching trainers. Bye!